Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School English channel. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to do Builder Gel extensions. Along with uh, Builder Gel extensions, I have also included a tutorial on how to use the silicon molds to create 9D flower design or any kind of designs. Okay, so that is the uh, topic for today's video. So if you are new here, please subscribe. Now let's begin with the video. Uh, so today we are doing uh, my own nail so I have already completed the dry manicure so if you are not familiar with dry manicure I have a video on my channel where uh, the title is uh, how to do Russian manicure so you can check that video out uh, once you have completed the dry manicure you can start applying your dehydrator and primer so dehydrator basically removes oil moisture from your nail plate and then primer that is kind of a bonding agent between your nail plate and the product okay so for extensions I'll be using paper forms as you can see on the screen I have five uh, uh, forms and I also have builder gel from the brand called model ones and then I'll be using this brush to do the gel application so uh, since we are doing gel extensions we need to start with the base coat so here I'm using uh, TNT's base coat so when you apply the base coat make sure it's a very thin layer so we don't have to like put uh, a bulky top base layer just a very thin uh, layer and then cure it for like 30 or 60 seconds now let's start with the form fitting so um, if you don't use forms i'm going to give you like a quick explanation on how to apply the forms start uh, first start peeling off the sticker from the form and then attach the small piece behind the form and then open the form and then attach the first flaps together and then use a scissor to break it uh, and then you can just uh, measure the fingers just like that so you apply it so if you see that center back black line at the center that should align with the center of your nails okay once that is done just measure where the corners of your nails are okay so once that is like kind of marked you can just make a cut like this okay so this i call it as a cat ear cut because uh, so you may ask why we do this because when you kind of close the forms we need the forms to go underneath our nails okay when i say underneath our nails uh, forms are already underneath the nail but when we fold it it should form a cylindrical shape if we don't cut it then uh, the forms won't go completely underneath the nails there will be like a side bulky side okay so then you won't have like a proper c curve when you are done with your extension so that's why we do that cut it's not necessary for all the fingers but most of the fingers we need to do that cutting okay now coming to the builder gel so as i mentioned this builder gel is from the brand called model ones so if you're a beginner then this is a good one uh, i don't think they have uh, this uh, available right now i think they discontinued it um, but uh, this is a good one because uh, if even though they don't have it you can check for similar viscosity so viscosity means see how the bead is on my brush it doesn't move like just immediately it holds the shape for a while so since you, if you are a beginner then you it will be easy for you to navigate with this particular uh, gel okay this kind of viscosity or consistency so now we picked up a bead and we placed it at the uh, free edge as you can see i'm using a foam if it was a tip that i was using then i could directly start from the cuticle and then i can pull the gel all the way towards the free edge uh, but since we are using a foam we start building the free edge first and then we build the rest of the nails okay so once we connect both the corners of our nails and then we are going to pull the excess towards the uh, free edge uh, depending on what size or what length or what shape we wanted to do so here i'm trying to do kind of a stiletto nail so i'm stretching it all the way uh, it's going to be like a little longer nails so as you can see i pulled the gels towards the seventh number here okay now you can cure it after curing it if you want you can keep the foam but for this particular finger i'm going to remove the foam but just be very careful when you're removing it because uh, this is barely connecting with the uh, natural nail so you have to be a little careful while removing it otherwise you will break it okay so once uh, this is off uh, in case if you don't want to remove it you can still go ahead and do the rest of the application that is totally fine okay so now coming with the uh, next step which is to uh, apply a very 
thin layer of builder gel onto your nail blade okay so this particular layer the one that we are applying is called a slip base or slip layer okay so you may ask why we need a slip layer okay so now when i go and pick up a bigger bead to do the rest of the application if we have a slip base it's easy for us to move the gel closer to the skin and build the apex etc so it basically gives the gel a little easy to move around okay so now i'm taking a bigger bead putting it a little far away from the cuticle since the nail is like really long uh, we need like a little extra uh, product so i picked up another bead also just connected it and after that see how i'm pushing it back since we have that slip uh, slip layer uh, le uh, added on the base it's easy for us to push and make the gel uh, go closer to the skin okay so now if you see uh, after moving it closer to the cuticle, I am taking the excess and then I am pulling it down in a pendulum movement and then uh, like going all the way to the free edge. So now when you do this, in case if you run out of product, uh, you can break that thread, take additional bead and then you can restart uh, from where you have stopped. Okay, so that's what I am going to do. I picked up a little extra bead. I connected it with the already leveled uh, gel and then I'm going to keep on uh, like pulling the excess towards the free edge area okay so it's very easy to do um, so as you can see I'm following that pendulum movement from one side to the other side and uh, all, when I'm almost close to the uh, free edge I just break the thread now turn the finger and if you see any uneven area or if you want the gel to move to a particular direction you can do that uh, using your brush here okay so instead of this brush you can also use like a liner brush and then you can cure it so this is how our nails looks like for now now let's see one more time so this time i'm doing the thumbnail again same process we are starting with a, a bead uh, we are placing it at the free edge area then stretching it out all the way to the length that we wanted to do and then we are going to cure it and then we are going to start with the slip layer and once the slip, slip layer we do not cure the slip layer okay so we leave it as it is and then we start with the uh, rest of the application so again doing the same thing uh, picked up a bead and then placed it uh, little far from the cuticle pushed it back towards the cuticle and the excess I'm pulling towards the free edge and just make sure when we are doing or working with gel uh, make sure we don't have any bubbles okay so here I have completed the application and send it for the curing so after curing when I was checking the apex that I created was very uh, small considering the length that we have so I decided to add a little bit more apex so again I started here with a little bit of a slip base applied a thin layer so that I can move around the gel easily and then again with the same process I'm going to take like a big uh, chunk of gel and then I'm going to push it back to the cuticle and i'm not going to go all the way to the cuticle because that we have already finished i just wanted to create that apex so i'm just gently going to uh, push it towards uh, a little bit towards the cuticle and then the rest i'm going to pull down to the free edge so here our focus is just to create the apex and then have a beautiful architecture on our nails okay so that i have done here and then we will cure it so after doing that second additional step this is how our nails look like so now you can see the apex apex has formed now before we make the filing and shaping we have to clean or remove this tacky layer from our nail plate okay so if you, here i'm using a lint free wipe and alcohol and i'm rubbing it really nice and making sure that the sticky layer is completely gone from the nail plate okay so uh, i also clean the bottom side of the nail which i have not recorded but i clean both top and bottom side okay so after filing and shaping this is how the nails looks like now let's begin with the interesting part so i ordered these silicon mold so this was there on the instagram like it looked so easy and fun to do so i thought i'll give it a try so i placed an order from a local website so i'll leave their instagram handle in the uh, description box if you wanted to see uh, so these are the products i got so this is like alphabet mold and this is a flower uh, rose uh, flower mold and then uh, they send some free stuff and this uh, brush and then i have the uh, 
uh, 3d uh, sorry 90 rows uh, here okay so i'll be using a bunch of different gel polishes here so for the roses i decided i'll use like a really hot pink color uh, and for the leaves and stuff i am going to use like regular green so a mix of uh, dark green and light green um, now uh, in case if you wanted to learn this video in uh, Hindi language then please head to my Hindi channel the same video is available on Hindi uh, language so you can check that out and also uh, feel free to share it with your friends uh, now uh, what you are seeing on the screen is I picked up two different uh, green shades and then we have the pink color so these molds um, they are like very intricate so I use a liner brush to fill in the colors inside the uh, flowers uh, if you want you can also kind of use UV resins but uh, since we work with gel polishes uh, you can use gel, gel polish also in case if you don't have the right uh, gel polish color you can also use clear builder gel and you can mix pigments and then you can fill in uh, the flowers uh, whatever you wanted to do but there are different options you can fill in this okay so now I'm starting with the gel uh, when you fill in the gel if you wanted to see if you did not miss any points or corners then you can turn it and check okay so if you see something is missing somewhere the paint is missing then you can obviously check and then come back and fill it okay so here the leaves uh, so when I was filling the colors I noticed that the leaf part is like really thin so it was a little difficult for me to fill in the color but I ended up filling uh, both the colors and uh, then I will send it for curing so meanwhile the other one is curing I decided to add two roses also so here again um, this one was easy comparatively uh, compared to the other one because this one is like more of an open rose the other one was like a round shaped <laughs> rose so it was difficult little challenging to fill the colors okay so now after filling uh, the roses with pink uh, then I fill the leaves with a green color so any color you can use it doesn't matter what color you want you can also use two different colors and create like a multicolor roses also it's totally up to you okay so uh, uh, once I fill uh, the roses I put it for curing and here we have already done with the curing once uh, the first coloring part is done now I am using clear builder gel to fill in the rest of the areas okay so only the gel, gel polish you can again use it as it is but those won't be like a really 90 you can see it will be like kind of a 3d effect but we want a literal 90 so that's why i added builder gel and then i cured it so to take it out you just uh, stretch the silicon mold like this and then you can use a, a tweezer to uh, pull it out okay but be very gentle uh, especially here the roses are fine because i added the builder gel but for the leaves and the um, stem part i did not add the builder gel like i said it was really thin so i didn't want to make it like really bulky so as you can see the leaves are like very fragile because it's just gel polish whereas the flower has the builder gel so it's hard okay so here is our uh, rose that i created uh, using the uh, silicon mold so i'm just going to show you a close-up uh, with my tweezers so it was so hard to show you on the camera so i decided this will be the best way okay so this is how it looks uh, and i think it turned out really pretty now let's pull out uh, this one also this was very easy actually uh, here i added uh, builder gel on both the flower and the leaf so you can see how thick uh, it is uh, so we just uh, take it out using our uh, tweezer and this is how it looks isn't it pretty if you have ever tried um, silicon moss do let me know in the comment section uh, i also had one where i have the peppa pig uh, designs i think i posted that on my instagram if you are not following me on instagram please do uh, link is in the description so these are the two roses uh, they look really pretty so now let's attach this to the nails so for attaching the uh, flowers to the nails i'm again using a uh, builder gel here if you want you can use your rhinestone glue to attach them uh, i'm not going to keep it for a longer time so i'm just going to go with the uh, builder gel uh, but if you want them to last longer then you have to use like proper securing uh, mechanism okay so this is how it looks finally uh, it's so pretty and cute uh, it's easy to make but the same thing if you do with your acrylic or uh, uh, 
uh, gel then it will take time but this is like much easier so uh, let me know how you like this video if you like it don't forget to like share comment all those good things i'll see you soon in my next video until then take care uh, thank you for watching